Hello everybody, it is me, Ice Storm here, and I am here with a tutorial on how to get 7 Days to Die playable on your low-end computer. So, of course, I'm going to be using the Dell Latitude E6420 for this. So, um, if you are, you know, you have a crap laptop or just something that's just not very powerful, and um, you put everything to the lowest, put all the graphics into the lowest, resolution to the lowest, and you're still experience poor frame rate and possibly stutters, then you're definitely going to watch this. Okay, so 7 Days to Die um, is still a early access game. It's still an alpha. So you can expect the performance not to be the best. But for someone like me, I have a computer that can actually handle 7 Days to Die. But the uh, it's just not optimized very well, and so um, the developers did leave off a couple settings in the game where you can't turn it off or turn it on. Well, for me it's on, but I wanted to turn it off, so I did. So this is what you gotta do: you gotta go to your registry. So you just go here, type in R E G E D I T, and you'll get that. Run it, and then you'll get this. So. You want to go to current user, then you want to go to software, then you want to go to and select seven days, the fun pimps, then seven days to die. Then you'll get all of this. So, uh, try not to mess with this too much. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing, then don't even bother touching it unless you know what you're going to change. So, let's start off with the basics. Resolution. So, say you're, you are getting perfect performance but you just need to dim down the resolution just a little bit more then this is where you want to do it so you get the height so make sure you set it to decimal so you can change so you can change the number to the exact value so here we get the height resolution so this is where you want to set the height and then this is where you want to set the width double click it do not right click to click modify do not do that so there's the resolution option so you can do any custom resolution um, the game isn't very doesn't like custom resolution but very much so try to stick with widescreen or four four by three it's, uh, depending if you know what resolution you want now moving up so of course we got some the uh, view distance option so here we got view distance I set mine to one which is the lowest you can go and this is the best performance boost you're gonna get because that means that your computer won't render as much leaving your CPU not to struggle so much and also it's gonna help the GPU because the GPU is what really renders all those graphic effects so that's very helpful it makes my stuttering not happen anymore then we got some effects so like you got the, your shadows your reflections those you can turn off in game and if just in case you didn't just put it just click on it and turn to zero if you see a one value that means that's on so just put it to zero and you'll be good now you do have your texture options. I don't really know what is the lowest value. If this is already the lowest value or serious lowest, so I wouldn't mess with that unless you know what you're doing. So as we go up, we got objects. You got object blur. That's zero, so that's off. You got the LD distance. Uh, sadly, we cannot change that um, because it's invalid. Where it's something I I, I don't understand, but other than that, moving up. Grass distance, it's on zero. As we keep going. Bloom, so bloom and and the uh, the fair lighting was on one. I turned those both to zero and noticed that the performance uh, also helped my computer. So I'm able to play seven day day seven days to die with a solid thirty FPS dimming down to like twenty eight to twenty seven here and there. So yeah. Now let me show you guys what the game looks like for me so stay tuned and i'll be right back the is me ice storm here with seven days to die right now so we're in the game so after doing all of the tweaks you can see that the view distance tweak is definitely a big one uh so the view distance is on one and you can basically tell that the air is a big difference in it like you, you can clearly see it, it it's the house is like now showing the whole thing it's showing half the house 
Um, and yeah, so we move closer. The house generates. And there's a zombie somewhere. Oh, it's over there. Yeah, so the stuttering is due to my recording, so don't worry about that. So we're just gonna, you know. So by having the views distance like this, so when you're running around, a lot of pop-ins are gonna happen. So be warned about that. Now, there is um, a tweak that I can show you guys when it comes to the LOD. So if you type in, so you type F1 to go to the console, and then you type SG, I believe it is, ah, crap, what was it? Hold on, guys. Uh, I'm pretty sure I sent it to a friend to type in. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Don't mind me, guys. Just gonna, and, okay. Steam mobile doesn't want to work. Where is it? Here it is. Here we go. So this is the setting right here. So you gotta make sure you type it in correctly. You gotta make sure you type this correctly. So it is, uh, I believe, options. O O D D distance zero and you guys can see the effect already so you guys saw that the trees just got changed and that you can't really see the ODs anymore so that's the effect of that command now by doing this you boost your performance quite a bit so yeah this is I would say seven days to die shit edition you're basically playing with shit graphics I mean, just look at that tree. It's pixelated as fuck. Look at this tree. It's 2D. What is this? Uh, by the way, if you get super close to it, the trees go to like a normal tree, but you still get pixelation. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys. No. Hey, no. You got this nice looking house. No, it's pretty nice. Got some major stutters. That's also nice. Yeah. So, yeah, guys. Seven days to die. And we got a, we got a, we got a zombie over there that I do not want to fuck with, but I guess, I guess I have to fuck with it. Okay, if my computer can stop stuttering, we can actually do this. You wanna get fisted? Oh, oh, okay, maybe I might stutter too much. Get off of me. Get off of me. Get off of me. Get off of me. Okay, that, that zombie doesn't mess around. Okay, guys. We're just gonna slowly back away and run. Ah, crap. Uh, the, behind me is this radiation area, so I'll die if I go that way. So we only have one solution. Oh boy. Whew. Stutters. Oh, 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 gotta, gotta, gotta go with that old, good old dodge. Ooh. And I'm dead. And he eats me. So yeah, guys, so that's, so that's that. Seven days to die. Yeah. So... Yeah, guys. So, with all those tweaks that I showed you, you should be getting playable frame rates. So, hopefully, it helps. If you guys are having stutter problems, hopefully that helps. If you guys are having low FPS options, well, low FPS problems, hopefully that helps. So, I'm going to show you guys one more thing you can do, and we're going to end the video there. So, stay tuned for the last tip that might possibly help you. Okay, guys. So, the last tip. Uh, I'm going to show you guys is the launch option. So, for the game that we run in DirectX 9, I need you to type in 